So now that I'm growing blueberries, I'm using soil acidifier. And I got a little curious, how fast does this actually work? So I want to get an idea about that and I'm going to do it using six inch diameter pots. Now for a pot, it says for every inch of diameter, you use one tablespoon of soil acidifier. I'm going to have a control. This isn't going to get any soil acidifier at all. And we're going to mark this C. And then we're going to have one where we only put half the recommended amount. And that's going to be A. And then we're going to have one where we put the recommended amount. And that is going to be B. So we'll put B full, just so we know. And we'll put C or A half, just so we know and C is our control. Let's fill these up with some soil and get a baseline measurement of our pH using this. A pH and fertility, which is a moisture uh, analyzer. I'll be using miracle Grow garden soil just because it's what I have lying around. This is gonna be messy, but it's faster. Pour this one in. Now I'm breaking up the clumps, breaking up the soil, because I want to make sure we have the same amount of soil in each pot about. I'll fill them up to about the same height. And every time I measure the pH, for this, I'm gonna use the same water source to tap out of my kitchen. That way we don't change what water we're using. So now that all these are muddy, I'm gonna let them sit for 15 minutes. We'll measure each one. We'll write the base on the side of each pot. And then we will add soil acidifier. Let that sit for about 15 minutes and then measure it again to see if there's any immediate change in the soil. All right, so now that these have had some time to sit, we're gonna measure the pH on our control and document that. So we're just gonna flip the switch to the right and we gotta give it a little bit of time to read that. I imagine because it's coming out of a bag of miracle Grow, it's probably gonna be within the range of eight to six. I don't see it being much lower than that, but who knows? I'm a beginner here. So each of these test it at seven with the pH tester. What I'm gonna do now is add soil acidifier to each of these. A spoon to test it, oh, I do in my pocket. Ta-da, tablespoon. All right, so this one is the full dose here. I'm gonna pour the same amount of water as I did before. We're gonna mix it in and let it sit. So I'm just gonna pour some of this, start mixing it into the soil so the water doesn't run it out of the top of the pot. We're gonna mix it up. The soil is pretty well saturated. We're going to mix the half dose into the soil so it doesn't run out of the pot when I pour the water. All right, so now what I got to do, because I can't test it when it's this wet, is I'm going to have to wait for all that water to run through the soil and evaporate off. So I'm going to leave this sit overnight. I'm going to let that water run out. I'm going to let it evaporate and then we'll test it again tomorrow. All right, so day two after last night's rain, our control is still at seven. All right, and we got the full dose pot here with no change. And our half dose pot is showing no appreciable change. I'm really not surprised by this. It's only been a day. It's gonna take some time to break down. All right, so we're several days after the last test. We started seeing results a change in soil pH on the second day that it was in these pots. Now I left them outside and we had some rain. 
I'm gonna let that sit for 15 minutes. We'll come back and if it measures the base reading I've been getting of seven, we know that these other two are accurate and we can proceed forward. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes and our control, pot C, is sitting at a neutral pH of seven, just about. Needle's hovering a little bit below, or a little below, but that could just be uh, compost in the soil breaking down and some, maybe a little bit from the rain, but I doubt it's meaningful. It's probably in the margin of error. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna test the full dose. We're gonna turn it off to reset it. And we're gonna turn it on and we'll see what it, where it lands, but you can already see it's sitting at six. So on the meter, we're reading about 6.75. It's been a little longer than 15 minutes. I got wrapped up in this, got wrapped up in some stuff, but that's right in the ballpark of about where we want to be for a full dose in this pot. So now we're going to check to see where the half dose is sitting. And we're going to let this sit for about 15 minutes. Last time I measured it, it was way too high for a half dose and what this, for what this pot should be. And as you can see, we're already at a, a reading for what a full dose is. So we'll see where it settles at in about 15 minutes. All right, and the half dose pot landed us at six, a full point away from seven. Now this is something I measured each pot at seven before I started this. So a half dose should have landed us at 6.5, not six. All right, so I'm not trying to extract anything crazy from this or make any conclusions about it or whatever. It just simply seeing how fast it takes for this to activate. I kind of found it interesting. They all measured it at seven, even with like rainwater and everything being introduced. It started um, activating about two days later. And then out from there, the full dose landed us one point down, so we started at seven, went down to six, and the half dose did the same thing. Started at seven, went down to six, and then the control stayed the same the entire time. So about two days for this stuff to activate. I would say, if anything, use it sparingly. Don't be, oh, more is better. This is definitely not a more than better soil treatment. This is add some, see where you land, add some, see where you land, gradually bring the soil down to where you want it. I did uh, pots and miracle Grow just because I thought it would be convenient and it's what I had. If you wanna see me do this with regular in-ground soil, like pick a patch in my yard, mix soil acidifier into it, and then see what it does to the pH over time and how long it takes to seep down into the ground and how long it's actually good for, that's another thing to think about when you're mixing it into the ground. Let me know down in the comments below. I might uh, do that just for kicks and giggles a little later on, but for now, it takes about two days for soil acidifier to activate in a pot. Uh, a half dose got me the same results as a full dose in a pot this small, they're six inch diameters. Uh, just slowly adjust your soil, more isn't, better with this stuff necessarily. So I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one.